Hey, what's up everybody? Russ with RWG Research here. It's been a little while. Um, work has been kicking my butt. Uh, I've been working uh, this weekend, so like 10 hours a day and probably another 10 tomorrow or maybe more. So, trying to been kept be, uh, trying, I have tried, can't speak, I've been trying to catch up. So, I'm going to give you a little update. I got some pretty cool stuff to show you. The EPG pump, the little red pump, it's been found. Um, Brian, I believe if I got that right, Brian found it. It's posted on the forums. Um, Phil, which is a guy in UK, I'm pretty sure, I have, um, he has ordered one and shipped it to me, and I have to ship it to him because they do not ship to UK. So I have it here in my possession. So I've taken the opportunity to take it apart, uh, spec it out, and show you guys um, that it is the pump. And it's really cool to see that they found the actual mechanical pump. Uh, this uh, plastic impellers and everything. Other quick other update on other stuff before I get to that. Before I forget, a guy by the name of Donnie, no last name for you because I don't like doing last names, has sent this package and I have not had time to even send him a thank you message on YouTube. This is amazing. Um, some LEDs, some IC chips, buttons, fuses. Uh, but uh, button cell battery holders and I mean there's more stuff in here than like I don't even know what to say um, I just have to say thank you very very much he said he was cleaning up and uh, decided to um, like look this whole thing's full of picks different kinds I know that a lot of you out there could use some of these so kinda let me know and I'll try to get with you and give you some of these I'm not gonna use all these um, but anyway Excuse me. Anyway, um, I just want to personally say thank you because I have not have I've not even had time to respond. Um, I haven't got on an actual PC since the last video I made. Um, so the video from um, a while back, I said I was going to post. Um, I didn't get a chance to do that, so that'll be like the next one. So anyway, um, I want to show you what's up now with this pump, and then I'll give you a little update on the EPG. So here's the pump. It's a messy, messy, messy shop. I haven't been down here in forever. It's just been crazy. So this is the pump. Okay. Um, it's actually called a Little Giant. There it is. And to give you a quick reference of what it looked like, that's what it looked like. All right. And here is that pump sitting like this. And the head is turned. On that picture, but it's sitting just like this. I mean, look at the look at the specs on that right there, and look at the specs on that right there. That is that is the pump. It's still even the exact same housing and everything. Um, now, uh, Brian ordered one of these, and from his pictures, this little cap is not here, and in Stan's pictures, that little that little piece right there, it's not there either. So uh, that's kind of interesting that Brian ordered one. He got it in, I think, today. And his does not have this, and this one does. I don't think it matters. It's just the way it is, but it's very interesting. Um, and I'm pretty sure it had the exact same label on the top, but I didn't check the um, numbers on it yet. There you go, focused in. So this pump is called a Little Giant. If you look it up, Model B-500. Uh, this is a 500... I think gallons, no, liter, gallons per hour, minute, I don't know. I don't remember. Um, let's see if I can look it up real quick. Alright, so, uh, yeah, gallons per hour. 500 gallons per hour at one foot of height, I believe. Probably what that is. Um, so, that's what I'm guessing. Now, here's what's important. You can order this pump if different um, gallons per hour, and it comes with different size inlet and exit. All right, this is important because I want to know what this inlet and exit port is. All right, is that a quarter inch or a half inch or a three eighths or a three quarter? All right, so so I want to know what these are. Um, I can't tell very well. Um, but I will be scoping this out. I can't tell whether that's accurate or not. I'll have to wait. Um, and I'm going to measure this up. And I'm going to stick this photograph back into Google SketchUp. And thus I will be able to tell you and resize this stuff again. I will, I will be doing that whenever I get the chance and giving it away. Now I did take this pump apart. And one thing I found out 
was that this seal right here in between these two items um, here and here these two items are not sealed very well and this is a sum submersible pump and if you look here you look close on there and uh, these pictures again are online I can zoom in but I'm not going to that's glued that's re-glued so Stan obviously had some sort of a leaking going on there so I advise anybody that buys one of these to make sure that they reseal this with uh, some sort of a glue with that seal um, so you make sure uh, that you got it sealed good and I'd pressure test it as well there is the inner housing again I did take this apart and take good pictures um, I will be posting the link to the forums where this discussion has been going on on the video that you're seeing now but you'll have to find the rest of the stuff on the forums but I'll link it directly so you shouldn't miss it high resolution uh, photos of this pump and um, real quickly I'm gonna pull let's see this picture up because I want you to see I'm gonna zoom in here it's running off my flash drive so it's kinda kinda slow but I want you to see here you can see how it's glued and uh, there you go drag this down a little bit there you go alright so I wanna hold this up here so you can see it's the same pump again this head is turned alright Hold this about like that. So there you go. I'm 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 just uh, I'm stoked that Brian found this because this gives me something in my palm of my hand that I can measure. All right, and then I can go resize the EPG and sketch up again and do it accurately. And I can find out what size hose fittings is on there, and that means I can find out what size pipe was actually used. So I'm I'm thoroughly excited about that. So before I run out of time, because I think I'm still limited on YouTube, I want to show you an update on the EPG. I got this thing unsoldered, um, and that was a royal pain in the butt. Um, but I put clamps around it, and I talked to Bill Williams, and he kind of mentioned uh, getting the pipe hot when you soldered it. You kind of annealed it so that when you bent it into this shape, and then you heated it up and cooled it off, it should hold that shape because you're realigning all the, the metal molecules and stuff. If you guys don't know what annealing is, it's like heat treating. Um, so that's basically what I did to the pipe. So here's the EPG. I need to take a breath. Here's the EPG. All right. And uh, what I've done here is I've taken these clamps. All right. Put them on here. Tightened it down. And then unsoldered it all and heated the whole thing while I was unsoldering it. And now this uh, these pretty much stay in their shape. Uh, this whole thing is just free floating. Um, I do have a few dividers on here. I was doing some checking. Uh, right now I gotta clean all the flux off. This is covered in flux and it's sticky and it won't hold a glue very well. So I gotta clean that off. I was planning on doing that right now. But I just wanted to show you that this EPG pipe, you can see how it springs back. It wants to stay in that position. Um, it's literally just chilling out. Loose. It's all loose. So I thought that was kind of interesting that you could anneal the pipe after you get it bent and it will hold its shape. This means you can glue it a lot better, okay? So just because you don't solder it, heating it up and annealing it might be a good idea for you guys that are building these, okay? I want to give you that idea. Um, the other thing is I bought some uh, glue. Thanks to you guys, I was able to purchase some of this stuff. Um, this is Loctite Epoxy Instant Mix. It comes with the uh, tubes here that mixes it. And uh, basically what I'm going to do, it's made for a ceramic, stone, wood, metal, glass, tile, most plastics. So I figured I could use it on the plastic and on the EPG holding it together. Alright. Um, I bought some colored tape. So I don't have any for the um, BIC coils here. Some regular glue. And a, um, this I bought vinyl tape, electrical tape. Alright. I got like a few seconds here, so I got to hurry. But what I was going to do is put a divider plate here in between each one of these pipes. I was going to add a piece of plastic or something. And I got to thinking, electrically non-conductive, thin piece of plastic or rubber. There it is. So basically what I'm going to do is pull this up, put a little thin strip of that tape in between these layers of pipe. Okay. Put them all perfectly flat, and I'll probably make a little table jig to hold this stuff down. And uh, then run a bead of epoxy right here 
all the way around, okay, and then slip on um, these divider plates like so. Get these things all lined up, and I was probably going to take a piece of um, or some of that super glue, dab it in this connector right here, and then get that nice and square, and then basically just uh, tack this in place with the epoxy, and then that's it. Be done with it. So that's the plan. Um, I'll probably end up trying to cut this so that I have a thinner strip so I just cover the inside in between those things and the glue will stick to the pipe a little bit better. Now I'm going to have these small gaps like here you see the gap. I'm going to actually have to somehow put a little filler in there because I do not know if the epoxy will run through there. If it doesn't, great. If it does, we're going to have a problem. It only is a like that in just a few spots. But that's it. So, whew, yeah, that was like big one, one big long breath. So I want to give you guys an update because I haven't done that in a while. I'm telling you guys what's going on, what's happening, where are you at, Russ? Um, YouTube comments and uh, people who send me messages. I actually have not been able to get on to YouTube and respond. So don't think that I'm not reading those or getting those. I am getting them. I am reading them. And I'm responding um, to like a very few of them because I haven't had time. So basically, I will be um, trying to catch up on my YouTube video responses. So please do leave me comments, um, ideas, thoughts. Um, one of the ideas and thoughts is, is this electrically conductive? I don't know. Um, maybe that's something I should test first. But I'm just going to probably use it anyway. I really don't think it is. Any clear epoxy, I wouldn't think it's uh, conductive, but you never know. So anyway, do leave me comments and uh, keep in touch with me. I've been reading everyone's responses, comments, um, concerns, and I've been replying the best I can. Um, I will answer some of the questions in the like last five or six videos. I haven't been able to, to respond to any of those questions, so we'll be doing that. But I want to thank Phil for uh, making me ship this out to him. <laughs> But uh, I'm just so excited right now to find this pump. Um, I don't know. I'm just stoked because it's real. It's in my hand and I have real dimensions. That means I can actually size the EPG perfectly. And from what I've gathered, and I'll do this real quick for you guys, but what I've gathered is it's really, really close. So just for fun, there's my EPG in the pump. I know it's not in the center like where Stan's is, but... It gives you an idea of size, okay? So the outside diameter of my EPG versus the size of that pump. All right, you got it. All right, and we'll go over here and uh, open up this full scale picture again. Okay, and there you go. So, you know, you can see where I'm at in here, and it's it's darn close. It's really close. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, I think it's the right size. Uh, I'm excited about this pump. Even though I'm not using the pump, we know we can get it now. And I can always uh, make another and modify this one if I think I need to. So that's it. Well, I'm out of breath. i got to get going. got to do a lot of other stuff today yet. And I just wanted to say thank you. Um, continue to spread the word. Get over to the forums. Uh, my website's rwgresearch.com. The forums is open-source-energy dot org okay everything's linked together but check this video description for the link to the photographs of the um, pump and everything else that's over there thanks for all your support and uh, hopefully I can get some stuff rocking out here but it's been really busy peace everyone later